I may or may not be in my pajama bottoms. It's been a long week and I am exhausted, so we do not skip Tarot Card Tuesday. That is not something we do around here. everybody and welcome back to Not Lilith's Attic, but we are still making it work. My name is Julia Pasqua and it is another Tarot Card Tuesday. This week, you guys, we have finally transitioned to a new suit. I give you the Ace of Cups. Yay! So the cup suit in general represents love relationships. If you compare it to a card suit, it would be the heart suit in a regular deck of cards. So the Ace of Cup card symbolizes a new beginning, usually a new romance or something new forming out of love. This can be a new chapter or a new start of a business. This can be a new relationship, like I said, or it can even be a new love as in a new baby, or this can also be another card that represents pregnancy, again. So the hand, much like in the Ace of Wands, is coming out of the cloud, and the cup that they are holding is a chalice, which is typically a shared cup as it is easier to pass around and handle, so the chalice is also symbolized that love connection within this card. It has a stream flowing through it down to the bottom. It's showing that we're manifesting from ourselves into something bigger. The white dove on top symbolizes peace. If you pull this card, it can also represent self-love. We talk about that a lot on here. It doesn't have to be love from another person. I feel like when people think about love, they think, oh, you know, like the romance genre, like it has to be another partner. That's not what love's about. Love can come from within. Love can come from without putting love into something. It doesn't just have to be that romantic partner. But essentially, you are falling in love with something in life. Whether you're falling in love with the start of a relationship, a friendship, whether you are falling in love with something that you have a passion about, some kind of business that you're working on, any sort of love, anything that is starting, that is coming from within and pouring out into that lily pond, that is what this card represents. If you pull this card in reverse, is it? Yes, okay. If you pull this card in reverse, something isn't quite working out as you hoped it would. This can be a relationship isn't going the way that you want it to, or something that you've been putting energy into just is kind of being delayed in seeing any sort of return on that investment. All right, you guys, let's go make the Ace of Cups. Come on. Okay, so for my Ace of Cups, as you guys know, we are starting a new suit. What possibly could I use for cups? Well, I've already been called out once. They were like cups. Alice in Wonderland, I see this happening already, tea party stuff, and I'm like, 100%, that is why I'm excited about these cards. I feel like there are so many different story book Alice in Wonderland themed things I can do with teacups. I am so pumped. So I feel that the whole cup suit is gonna have a little bit of that Alice vibe. So for the Ace of Cups, I wanted to do this cup being poured into the Ace of Hearts for one, representing a few things, okay? I wanted to represent like, that Alice in Wonderland feel, you know, Queen of Hearts. We have like the little card guys. And I also wanted to kind of do a wink, which I don't do often and I'd like to do more at actually reading tarot with a regular deck of cards. My great grandma used to read tarot from a regular deck of cards, like 52 playing cards. I've been wanting to put more winks towards what the cards can represent if you're reading them with a regular deck. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do that. So I'm going to have the actual Ace of Hearts card because hearts, the suit, you know, we're like love cups. I'll go together. And I wanted the cup to be pouring into the Ace of Hearts, kind of like the cup running over into the lake, showing that you're pouring, you're manifesting something into something bigger. But I wanted to do a little bit of a surrealism here, a little bit of wink into the Wonderland aspect of it, where instead of just being poured into the lake, it's kind of going surrealistically. You're pouring it into this heart and it's going drip and you get all the little ripples. And then in the background, we have some clouds, we have some flowers. I've done kind of this style before, like my, my brain immediately goes to the Empress with this kind of style of cloud. So just kind of keeping that feel throughout my deck. I feel like now that I'm thinking about it, it might all have a little bit of a wink of a Wonderland feel. <laughs> And there you have it guys, the first cup. I know I'm probably gonna be sick of them by the end of these weeks, but I am so excited right now to be in the cup suit. I have so many ideas and it's way better than like, you know, the wands and all their 
yeah, we're just, we're over it. I'd like to send you off with my message this week, and that is continue to manifest energy into the things that you want in life. There are new beginnings happening for you. There is new love. There is new sparks of love. Maybe the love comes from a business. Maybe it's a new way that you love yourself. But really take time to cherish that this week and realize it, discover it, and pour more energy into that. And remember, if you're pouring it somewhere where it's not going anywhere, maybe stop tipping that cup. Sadly, the Brevard Renaissance Festival has come to an end. It was a wonderful five weeks. It was great getting to know some of you guys. It was great talking about the deck. And for the very first time, I actually had prints of the tarot deck available and I basically sold out of my major arcana. So thank you so much for that support. I will have more prints ready to go soon and I will be posting those on my Etsy store as well. If you're wondering where that is, link right down there. Very, very exciting to see the support for the deck even before it's out. If you guys are wondering where to catch me and the attic next, I will be in Gulfport for two dates, February 18th and March the 3rd from 4 to 9. I will also be at the Mount Dora Spring Festival, which is a brand new show in a brand new town that the attic has never been to before. I will be there March 18th and 19th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I will say, I know that some of you have been looking forward to seeing me again this year at Tampa Bay Comic Con. However, unfortunately, I will not be at Tampa Bay Comic Con this year. Um, you know, some years they want you, some years they don't. What are you going to do about it? Thank you all so much for being here. I have tired brain and I'm sure I have more to tell you, but for now, that is all I can think of. So with all my love, mwah, thank you so much for being here and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys. Great grandmother used to read. Someone's honking. Yes. Or not. <laughs>